Plenty of people trace their roots back to the time that this was Mexico. It was incredibly easy to pass. You basically just walked across the bridge. We're neighbors, and we've got families on both sides of the border. I came across because I was raised almost in West Mexico. In the 1940s, you have a series of coordinated efforts to regulate immigration into the United States. Once a week, the Border Patrol got me. One time, they got me twice in one day. What started in the mid to 90s is we started seeing an influx of illegal immigration coming through. Do I hear invasion? Support all illegal aliens, zero tolerance. Jails, schools, 63 people stuffed in a 900 square foot house. Illegal immigration is destroying small town America. That well, was disturbing what's going on in this nation. We had our way about it. We would be right on the wire and we wouldn't let nobody pass. It's ludicrous to spend our money on people that don't belong here. The Hispanic people are outpopulating the white people. Nosotros estamos aquí. Por una necesidad. Nosotros cuánto no deseamos ser legales aquí, pero no es fácil. You can't just live here if you're from Mexico. You have to have a family member or you have to have an employer that will petition for you. Once they've established that, you can come here in about five to seven years. So we had a void. The process of milking cows and things takes a lot of people to get it done. They're the people that will do the job. It's sad to say that we don't really see any other race apply for a position. No one likes to admit that our economy is dependent upon a foreign labor source. We are even more dependent on a foreign labor source today than we probably are on foreign energy. Convictions run deep in this capital when it comes to immigration. Those who hire illegal aliens should face tough penalties. The government is allowing it to happen. It's an outrage. The debate over immigration reform has reached a time of decision. We do not yet have full control of the border. I am determined to change that. America has the best technology in the world. We will employ motion sensors, infrared cameras, and unmanned aerial vehicles to prevent illegal crossing. The United States must secure its borders. Our borders are insecure. We've got to control these borders. Seal the border. Secure borders. Securing our borders. Secure our borders. Thank you. Please be seated. I'm pleased that you all are here to witness the signature of the Secure Fence Act of 2006. Border Patrol, I came in, they started doing something with the fence. They started securing the urban area. Because people couldn't come through that area, they started using the rural area. If the border's all closed down to here, it's like when you squeeze a balloon in your hands, you know, the balloon comes out wherever there's an opening. As I often say, if you show me a 50-foot wall, I'll show you a 51-foot ladder. There was just so many things that we weren't experiencing before. And it's anywhere from 30 to 35 miles across that border, but it's, it's a deadly area. It's an area where a lot of people die down here. So we had over 200 people die in the desert last year trying to come into the United States. When you come across the, uh, a body in the desert that uh, has been there for some time, and it, as you're looking at it, it's bloated, and it just sort of implodes on you. What's happening, basically, is the people smugglers and the drug smugglers are using the same corridor. Illegal alien smugglers are now becoming targets of heavily armed bandits. Porque esta persona les quitó dinero a unos migrantes. Los migrantes no se dejaron y algunos le dieron pedradas. We should call it the Enrich Coyote Act. They can take boats, they can dig holes. 1995 was the first tunnel that was discovered downtown. You see these drainage culverts have been covered. These drainages lead into the tunnel that's directly underneath the street here behind us. So they are barricaded. There, there are people that can come out through there, yes. I've seen three generations come out of a manhole. And you say to yourself, there's something wrong with this picture. There's something very wrong. By making it more difficult, they're making it more dangerous. The fence has to be done by the end of next year. What I'm afraid will happen, if we're not careful, is that, that we will move the problem somewhere else along the border. We've got to find a better way to do it. I understand the need to enforce this border. In order to do so, we got to have a comprehensive plan. To stop the sea of people, we, we need a drastic change. This issue is too significant to the millions of people whose lives will be affected. If it doesn't get passed before August, it's not going to get passed. But they're going to keep coming, and it's going to get harder and more dangerous. Congress and the president must act, and they must act this year. 
Thanks very much, Mr. Chairman. I'm pleased that the committee is once again taking up the critical issue of comprehensive immigration reform. 